Hey guys, it's Shannon. So for the holidays, I transformed my coffee bar into a hot cocoa bar. So if you missed that, I will link that down in the description box below if you'd like to go back and see how it looked before. But I have transformed it back since the holidays are over, back into a coffee bar, but I gave it an updated look. So I thought I would give you guys a updated tour. So here's just a big general pan of what I have set up here. This cabinet here was another DIY, which I will link in the description box below. It used to be an old dresser that we converted into more of a buffet. Then up on the walls, I hung two different sizes of tobacco baskets, which are from Hobby Lobby. And then I have a cotton wreath, which was actually a candle ring from Hobby Lobby that I used as a wreath because it fit nicely in that tobacco basket. And then down here on this floating shelf, which is another DIY I'll link down in the description box below, I have a Ray Dunn mug and a little succulent plant and some old books. This little spindle I found at the Oktoberfest. Then over here, I have a basket from Hobby Lobby with a candle inside. And then that little 2018 wood sign is actually a video coming up tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what that is about. And then coming down here is the larger tobacco basket. This wood sign actually my mother made me. So thank you to my mom. It says coffee's done. And then down here on the buffet, I have my Keurig machine. This little raised tray here is another DIY, which I will link in the description box below if you like to see how to make your own one of those. And then I have a basket, which is from Hobby Lobby as well, that I have some K-cups in. And then the beads are actually another DIY, so I will link that video down below. These canisters here in the middle are from Marshalls. So I have a sugar and I have a coffee. And then over here on the right, I have a candle holder from Ikea. This clock is also from Ikea. The little toolbox here is actually a Magnolia Market purchase. Inside I have a sage plant from Ikea, one, another one of those spindles that I found at the Oktoberfest. And then back here I have a milk glass vase with a cotton stem inside, and that stem is also from Hobby Lobby. Make sure you check out the description box below with all those extra added tutorials that I will link down there. If this video inspired you, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscription button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.